Hey guys, so we get to see another very expensive card. This card has crept up to $54, maybe $55, depending on what day you buy it. Cavern of Souls will be reprinted as a Mythic. Now, I'm okay with this. It does kind of make sense it got the bump up from a rare to a Mythic, because it is a $55 card, which is more than Levana, and it is about the same as Snapcaster Maids. Cavern of Souls is extremely good. It is very good in tribal. It's actually one of those cards that, I mean, it's just good in casual. Like if you were to talk about the format that would most appreciate this reprint, it would be like people with like random goblin decks and elf decks and all types of those creature based decks. So I'm very glad it is going to be reprinted. Its price should tank somewhat. Uh, the overall value of this set is incredible. So something has to give. And a lot of people are saying all oh, these box prices will increase. They can always print more boxes as shown from Eternal Masters. They are not, if they see the product as making them more money, they will just do a second print run. There's no, I have no doubt that if this product is successful and things are selling well, why should Wizard of the Coast give stores an extra, like why should a store, Wizard of the Coast give them a product that they're selling for 300 when they should be selling for 240. They're going to, if I was Wizard Coast, I would offload so much product that I get down the price down to 240 or less because I'm making money at that point and it's not the secondary market. People say like, oh, you have to reward the stores and stuff. I mean, you're rewarding them enough. If they sell these pack boxes for 240, they get money from that. You do know to make a large a profit. But when stores get greedy and they sell it for 300, that's when they need to be, I think they need to be set back. I, and Wizard of the Coast, hopefully they get the message. It looks like from Eternal Masters, they get it. Just print enough of this, please. That's my only concern about this product at this moment in time. I've heard the print run is quite large. The, the value is there every, like I don't expect it. We are on Thursday, Thursday and Cavern of Souls comes out. Like normally when we are on Thursday on a, a set the first week, we get like really crappy mythics and all the, I'm sure there's still crap that comes out, will come out later, but $55, man, it's still, it's only, it's Thursday. We have a $55 card spoiled. I, it's insane. And then Lily, obviously Princess Lily, as you guys know, I love her very much. Um, Everything I could possibly want. Blood Moon. I mean, even in Blood Moon, I was like, oh, Blood Moon is awesome. So let's reprint that, fingers crossed. And Blood Moon got reprinted. Cavern of Souls. Literally everything. Like, what, what else do you want? Like, you want some Infinity card? Just great. But I'm overall very satisfied, very happy. The only concern I have is the print run. I hope it's huge. I hope the print run is even larger than Eternal Masters. And I hope that if it does extremely well, they do a second print run. Because why not? I mean, why should Wizards of the Coast give all that money to the secondary market when they can eat it themselves? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sure the new CEO, Chris Cox, is like, wait a second. You mean we sell this at 240 and stores are charging 300 Why don't we just make enough of it so it goes down to 240 Yeah, that's, that's how they're going to make money. So I love the set. I think it is wonderful. I'm a huge proponent of reprinting cards, even though I own Cavern Souls, but it's good. You can always upgrade to foil cards, which for the same price, pretty much. Anyway, bye guys.